So this right here is one of the main intersections in Fira. And when you come this way, it's the beginning of the pedestrian only zone. So this is sort of the center of the non-Caldera area of Fira. You've got a lot of different food options, dozens and dozens of restaurants, food from all over the world. This pedestrian is closed off to, uh, to cars and vehicles. It's a pedestrian only zone and it fills up later in the afternoon. And it's a great spot. Obviously the food is gonna be cheaper than dining on the caldera. You get more options and it's just a different vibe. In this neighborhood, you'll also find all kinds of travel agencies, car rental joints, souvenir shops, small markets, lots of different food choices, various things that you might need in a kiosk like this, ice cream, cold drinks, sunglasses, sunscreen, COVID tests, whatever it may be, all different kinds of stuff. And it's also just right on the edge of the main bus station that is likely to factor into your plans at some point if you're using the bus during your time here in Santorini. This is the end of the pedestrian. Oh, I guess it goes a little further down. Down at the bottom there, you have the prehistoric museum of Thera, which is a great spot to visit. They've currently got an amazing exhibit about the frescoes from Akrotiri. Up here is another one of the main thoroughfares that takes you up toward the caldera. Everywhere you'll find people wheeling their suitcases, coming and going from and to their rooms. And this is, like I said, one of the main zones of commerce and sort of areas away from the caldera here in Fira. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.